Today we're going to look at text searching and selection modes with Telerik's RAD list box. RAD list box is part of Telerik's RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. So a couple of other features of the RAD list box includes text searching and selection modes. So with text searching, you can use a starts with, which will allow you to find any text starting with the first character you typed, contains any text containing the first character you typed, starts with case sensitive is text starting with the first character you typed with case sensitivity, and then contains with case sensitive, which is any text containing the character you typed with case sensitivity. It also has built-in support for selection modes, including a single item, or if you need to allow your user to select multiple items. Let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio 2010 and take a look at these features. So now that we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010, uh, we're basically working with the same project that we left off with earlier, except for uh, I've reduced a little bit of the code here. So instead of having our item template that we had before, I simply have removed that and I am just using a display member path of first name. Of course, we still have our employee class and our employee service and our code behind file with our main page.xaml.cs is still going to our rad list box .item source equals employee service dot get employees. So Going back to the main page.xaml, let's go ahead and let's run this application and see what it looks like. So as we see here, we have a list of names. And inside of these names, I want to go ahead and add that functionality where if I'm searching text, it would automatically jump to that person. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm just going to break this down to a new line where you can see it, and I'm going to add is text search enabled and I'm just going to turn that to a true and one thing to note is that anytime you are using this functionality you're going to want to make sure that is text search enabled equals true has been set or it will not work the next thing that we're going to change here is our text search mode and we went over these four items in one of the previous slides. We're just going to take contains for this sample. So any text item that contains the characters I typed, it will display those. So if I do starts without debugging, and I come down here, and let's just say I start typing Anna, or if I type DER. So as you see, it's jumping automatically for us. So I can go back and I can close this out. And instead of contains, maybe I would want something like a starts with. So this would match on the first character of the item with which I typed. So ANA, and maybe we did Lawrence to Paul. So as you can see, that functionality, it's built in out of the box with the rad list box. So let's go ahead and close that, and let's take a look at the selection modes. So just like the text search mode, the selection mode also needs to be enabled. So we can do is enabled, and we can select true. Then, if we wanted to, we could type in selection mode and select multiple. So now if we run this application, our users could have the ability to select multiple items. Of course, you can toggle that property back to single uh, if you only want them to be able to select one item. So stay tuned for the next part in the series where we're going to discuss theming the rad list box. 
Also tune in to tv.teleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.teleric.com for the latest news and announcements.